Hey everybody, Mr. MathLog here, and this lesson is Division of Decimals by Whole Numbers. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, www.mrmathblog.com. Let me show you that right there. If you go to mrmathblog.com, it'll take you to this link right here. And then uh, fifth grade is way over here on the right. So if you click fifth grade, it'll take you to all the lessons right here. And as soon as I get done loading it, it's going to go right down here. Okay, so... Uh, that's Mr. Math Blog right there. So if you click those links right there. All right, so here's our common course strand for our teachers. And our question is, how can we divide decimals by whole numbers? All right, we have a couple of examples here. Let's access some prior knowledge. This was called a flat. Do you remember that? This flat for decimals is going to be in our ones position. And this long right here is going to be in our tenths position. And this little small circle is our hundredths position. So for example, we have two and 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 then there's here's our tenths so four tenths and then seven hundred so two point four seven so there's our ones there's two ones there's four tens and seven hundreds right hundredths right there and this is tenths right there okay we're going to be using that in this lesson so uh, in a running relay each runner runs an equal part of the total distance Maggie and her three uh, other runners uh, won a relay uh, in 5.68 minutes. So what is the average time each girl ran? Okay, so so how many runners are, are in the part of this relay team? Well, there's Maggie and there's three others. So Maggie plus three will give us four runners right here. So what we're going to do is divide by four right here. So here we are. We're going to do, uh, sorry, jumped right into it here. So we're going to use place value right here. This is just one way right here. And we divide, so here's 5.68. We're dividing it by 4 right here. So we first divide this uh, 5 ones right here um, uh, by 4. And 4 goes into 5 one time. So we're going to go ahead and place the, the ones over here. Remember, these are ones. So since we're dividing by 4, we have 4 equal groups. And they all have ones in here. Okay, so that's what this is, this one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and multiply 4 times 1 and put it right down here. So we're going to get 4 right there. And then we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract 5 minus 4, and that's going to get us 1 right there. Okay? And then so uh, we're going to check to see. We can't share uh, the 1 1s, can't be shared among the four groups right there uh, without regrouping. So let's go ahead and regroup right here. So we'll slide down these 6 tenths right here. Okay? All right, so these 6 tenths are going to get slid down right there. And then now we're going to divide 16 uh, tenths. Uh, this is 16 tenths divided by 4. And uh, the 4 goes into 16 4 times right there. So let's go ahead and put the 4 tenths now in each one of these 4 groups right here. Okay, and then we multiply 4 times this 4 right here. 4 times 4. 4 times 4 tenths is going to get us uh, 16 right there. Now we're going to subtract 16 tenths minus 16 tenths. That's going to get us 0 right there. Okay, now we still have this 8 to slide down, you guys. So we're going to check. Can uh, uh, 0 uh, tenths be shared among 4 groups? It can't be shared among 4 groups without uh, regrouping. So let's go ahead and regroup, and we're going to slide this 8 hundredths down right here. Okay? So let's go ahead and slide that 8 hundredths down right there. Now we're going to go ahead and divide. 8 hundredths divided by 4 gives us 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the 2 hundredths in each one of these groups. Okay, so 2 hundredths, that's those little circles right there. We'll go ahead and put those in there. Now we'll go ahead and multiply this 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is going to get us 8. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put that right there. And now we're going to subtract these two guys right here. So when we subtract those two guys, the 8 hundredths minus 8 hundredths. Oops, I didn't put a subtraction bar in there. I should have put a, a subtraction bar in there. So, so right here here, 8 hundredths minus 8 hundredths right there would give us a zero. Okay, that's not going to be in this next slide right here. So check that zero hundredths can't be shared among the, the four groups. All right, now we're going to place the decimal point in the quotient to separate the ones. Okay, so here's the ones right here, and this was the tenths, and this was the hundredths, so the decimal is going to get placed right there. Okay, and then so uh, each girl ran an average of 1.42 minutes. Okay, 
So that is uh, using place value division right here in this lesson right here. So we can do estimating on that. We'll do that with this one here. So we're going to use an estimate. Let's divide uh, as we uh, we would divide with whole numbers right here. Okay, so forty dollars and eighty nine cents. We're going to divide that by forty seven right there. Okay, so let's estimate, you guys. All right, so forty seven is close to fifty right here, and forty dollars is close to four thousand tenths right here because this is in the tenths, eighty nine tenths right here. So um, uh, I'm sorry, this is hundreds. We're going to go out to the hundreds right here, eighty nine hundred right there. So this is 4,000 hundredths right there. So 4,000 divided by 50. Well, I know 5 goes into 40 eight times, and then uh, this one zero is going to take off one of these zeros, so there'd be one left right here, so there'd be 80. So, so 4,000 hundredths divided by 50 is 80 hundredths. So we're going to think, we're going to get an answer close to uh, 80 hundredths or 80 cents here when we're talking about money. So here is 80 hundredths right there. It ends in the hundredths spot right there, okay? So somewhere we're going to get somewhere close to that. All right, so let's divide the tenths right here, okay? Because we can't go 47 into 40. It goes in there zero times, so we're going to go into 408 tenths, okay? All right, so remember the estimate right over here. The estimate was um, uh, 80, so 80 hundredths. So we're going to use this 8 and multiply it times 47, so 8 times 47. Uh, gets us 376. So there's the 376. And then we subtract. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And then 40 minus 37 is 3. And you remember we're going to slide that next 9 down right there. Okay. And then and then we're going to go ahead and go uh, uh, divide the hundredths in here. Okay. And then so 47 times 7 right here. I knew it was going to be 6 or 7 right there, so um, uh, 47 times 7, since that ended in a 9, 7 times 7 is 49 right there, so here's 47 times 7 is 329, so then we subtract those guys and we get 0 on that, okay? So when the remainder is 0, there's no more uh, digits in the dividend so that we've uh, finished the division problem, but now we've got to place the decimal right there, so now we're going to use our estimate right here, which was 0.80, and we're going to place that right here, so it's going to be 0.80, and we'll place a zero to show there's no one. So this will be 0 0.80 right there, okay? So it um, uh, looks like about 87 cents. So $40.89 divided by 47 is 87 cents, okay? And it was helpful right here when we used our estimate right here, 4,000 hundredths, okay? This is 89 hundredths, so if we rounded it to 4,000 hundredths, and we divided it by 50, we know 50 goes into 40 eight times, so uh, one more zero is going to give us 80. 80 hundredths, which is 0.80, so we knew we were going to get something close to 0.80, and we got 0.87 right there, okay? So explain how we use the estimate to place the decimal in the point, uh, point in the quotient. Well, the estimate gave us 80 hundredths, or 0.80, we were just talking about that, so we knew it was going to be something close to 80 hundredths, and so uh, our answer came uh, uh, to 87 hundredths right there, so 87 uh, cents, basically. All right, let's, uh, let's do this with this one. We're going to go ahead and divide, and then we'll use multiplication to check our answer right here. Okay, let's estimate, you guys. 23 is close to 25, and 79 is close to 75, so... So let's place that decimal right there. So there's the decimal right above that guy right there. And then 23 goes or 25 goes into 75 three times. So let's go ahead and multiply 3 times 23. Okay, so we get 69. All right, now we're going to subtract. We get 10. We're going to slide down the tenths. So we have 103 tenths. And then let's estimate again. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So let's think 23 times 4. So 23 times 4 is 92. Then we subtract those guys and we get 11. Then we slide down the hundredths right there. All right, now 23 times 4 is 92, so 23 times 5 gives us 115 exactly right there, so we get a remainder of 0. Then over here it says check, so we're going to take this answer right here and place it in this box and start multiplying right here. So it's after school, you can, I'm in my classroom, you can hear the, the traffic out there. All right, so uh, 3 times 5 and then 3 times 4. So 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. We're going to carry this 1 right here. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is this 13 right here. And then carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So there's that right there. Now we're going to multiply the, the tenths through from the 20. Okay, so we're going to have a 0 right here, and we're going to multiply the tenths through. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. We'll carry the 1. 
and then so 2 times 4 is uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, so there's the 10 for the 0, and there's the 1 for the, or there's the 9 for the 9, and we don't carry, so 3 times 2 is 6 right there. Now we're going to go ahead and add these partial products right there. Let's go ahead and add those, and we get 7935. Let's not forget to place the decimal right there so everything checks out right there. Okay, you guys. Hey, if this helped, uh, would you guys please press like? If it didn't, press dislike, and always love your comments, you guys. Hope you're having a great year. Take care.